highly promising youth player. He made a couple of appearances towards the end of last season. And many predict a bright future for the Palace youngster. A very congested penalty area indeed, particularly around the penalty spots as this free kick comes in. Nigel Martin fists it out. Back after a three-match suspension. Played well at Hartlepool midweek, looking confident and assured. And he'll have enjoyed that first touch. Nice one-two there between Sinton and Thompson. No cross coming over. It's a goal with Queen's Park Rangers. Adam McDonald has made it 1-0 to Queen's Park Rangers after just five minutes. What a beginning for them. A very neat piece of interplay between Gary Thompson and Andy Sinton. The low cross whizzed over. It eluded the Palace defence. And now stealing in to make it 1-0. In fact, was Simon Barker. No danger of not seeing Stasekel in the dark. A very distinctive goalkeeping jersey as the ball bobbles around in the area. Synod and Wegerly. Wegerly bundled over. It falls for Gary Thompson. It with the outside of his foot, but no real power. Good flick on by Johnson Arkin. Eddie McGoldrick. Yet lines up a shot. Eddie McGoldrick just wide. Yet to score a Division One league goal for Palace, and in the last few weeks he's come so close. Easy header there for Adam McDonald. And Ray Wegerly cutting inside his man, looking for support. And he's seen it arriving now on the left. John Humphrey trying to force him wide. Cutting inside Sinton. Pass one, pass two. Tries one, needs a shot. Good save there by Nigel Martin. Good positioning. McGoldrick getting in behind the defence again. Chance ready. McGoldrick is shot blocked. Another chance of McGoldrick off the feet of Stayskull. What does he have to do to score? Quick throw by Salako, chest it down by Mark Bright. Osborne, out to Salako. Cross delivered, beaten Space goal, header there by Bright, just over by Space goal. Certainly vital that they do get three points this afternoon. It's been hard going for them so far this season. In need of a confidence booster. And it's Sinton. Gets into... Oh, what's the referee going to give there? He's given a penalty. Well, he's looked so dangerous all afternoon, Andy Sinton. We've passed John Humphrey and Andy Gray really in desperation, nunching out a leg. And uh, Andy Sinton went flying. So, after... 14 minutes of this second half. Roy Wiggly has a chance to put Rangers further ahead. Nigel Martin's never saved a penalty for Palace so far. Could this be the first time? Roy Wiggly, though, an expert penalty taker. Wiggly against Martin just under his body. It's 2 0 to Rangers, but Nigel Martin so unlucky. And Andy Sinton turns in triumph to the Rangers fans. Well, Roy Wiggerly been out of the side recently, didn't strike that penalty as well as he would have liked. Nigel Martin so close to getting to it. So close, but not quite. Eric Young and Andy Gray eventually working the ball out to Lee Sinod. Lee Sinod into the penalty area, away by the dominant figure of Adam McDonald. And calm control by Bardsey, releasing Simon Barker. Good ball inside to Roy Wiggerly. Sinton's away. Gets past Bowden, Sinton a chance to make it three. He does so all oh, just wide. I thought that had gone in. A deflection by Nigel Martin. Well, I thought Andy Sinton had done everything right then, but it took a deflection off Nigel Martin behind for a Rangers corner. Barsley, no one there. Thank you very much, says Nigel Martin. Wave said he McGoldrick away. He's intent on delivering a long goal kick. Looking for Mark Bright, trying to get the better of McDonald. The ball might fall through for Collymore. Instead, Bright has a chance. Mark Bright, 2-1. <laughs> Crystal Palace get one back after 82 minutes. A long goal kick forward by Nigel Martin. The ball eventually breaking for Mark Bright just inside the penalty area. And he strikes his seventh goal of the season to give Crystal Palace a lifeline with just eight minutes left. Can Palace... Get a dramatic equaliser. Referee happy with the wall. Andy Gray steps up. 
Tremendous strike and a chance here for Collymore. He's done it to all. Stan Collymore opens his account. A dramatic fight back by Crystal Palace. Andy Gray's free kick opening the way for Stan Collymore to open his league account.